Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In the previous two videos, we have already seen many things about triggers, trigger functions, and to be specific, audit triggers in PostgreSQL. In this video, as I had promised, that I'll show you many more things to come in the upcoming video. So here it is, and as I told that uh, this particular video will show you how to manage the uh, work of uh, after insert or after delete logs in the previous video we saw only the update uh, portion but these things are already are need to be covered so in this video this is the part 2 video of this series of uh, uh, triggers in PostgreSQL and specific to audit purpose so uh, let's uh, do for those things and also I had told you that I'll be adding some new columns like in the uh, existing logs table we have uh, we have uh, columns only for old values to capture and one action column we had added in the in the previous video okay so in the in this video i am going to add many more things uh, i'll modify this and i'll add the purpose of insert and delete as well so first let's modify those things for that uh, i have already I written the updated uh, create table statement here I'll just explain you in the brief for that uh, I'm adding one logs ID as a, that will be unique key here uh, for for our logs purpose we can say and let's create one sequence here first okay we have created one sequence and uh, we are going to use that sequence here and uh, you need to remember that in Oracle how we get the next well we get the next well like sequence dot next well but in Postgres this is the syntax how we get the next well okay so you can use that syntax let me just mention that it is primary key here in this video okay we have already created the sequence now we'll use that sequence here as primary key and it will give me next well and starting from one two and it will go max to this okay so let's create the new table okay i need to mention here it as a default that is the keyword now let's retry okay the table is created now the logs table this is the updated logs table we can check here okay we, we ha I have refreshed it now we can see there are many columns here okay so uh, our next thing is to modify the existing codes and then I'll add the codes for uh, uh, insert and delete okay for that let's quickly add those things and as you uh, as already you know that uh, the logs id is a primary key and the values will be getting populated from uh, the sequence that we created so no need to mention that logs id column here we just need to and one more thing that i have added one more column here log date that uh, will capture the timestamp of the entry okay so this also improves our audit trigger so let's uh, check those things and I can add in this serial this is role new name new and course new fine and uh, as usual I can show you that uh, also we don't need to mention f for this column because it is already taking the default current timestamp okay uh, in a while I'll show you how it works so uh, for this uh, four columns we know the values but for the new three columns we need to mention them let me do it quickly it is new copy paste new okay so uh, this message i am keeping as it is no need to change anything here and same thing i'll do let me copy this was for roll column okay uh, and then 
this is for name column this is for course column okay fine uh, we have added these things now let me mention these columns here okay for name column it is done this is for course column okay so we have covered till this till the uh, till uh, this uh, we have already covered and let me recreate the function it will uh, uh, we don't need to drop it because uh, it will create or replace uh, it will it will be replaced the existing one okay the function is created now uh, let's do quick uh, testing of it this is the student table we don't need to modify anything here so I'm closing this panel we have our testing data here let me first insert one record into the table okay one record is inserted now uh, I'll check in the logs table okay there is uh, the table is created but there is no entry because we haven't performed anything here okay so let's uh, update one record here and check how the values are getting populated in the logs table okay so here it is as I told that uh, okay so uh, as I told that uh, the primary key will get populated from the sequence we have created this is the timestamp that uh, at what time the record uh, is uh, updated or changed and the action is same if you uh, remember in the previous video we have uh, explained these things and if you can see that uh, okay action is course value updated so one can easily identify that okay course old was this and course new is this so this is the old value this is the new value now okay up to this we are okay and now in the second attempt what we'll do we'll update the name value okay uh, we can also check uh, the uh, name value and the role value okay so we have performed the update uh, operation here and let's check the logs how logs uh, capture those value okay so as I told that logs uh, logs ID are created automatically from sequence and in the in the second value what we had done we had updated the name okay if you see name old value is this name new value is this and other things will be remain will remain same okay so these uh, these are all the details captured and also in the uh, for the role value also you can see the role old value is this and the new value is this and remaining things are same okay so uh, after done with this we can also verify the same from main table the students table we can say okay uh, up to this we are fine now we need to modify our trigger function that we had created here and we will write the similar things for uh, to support uh, our delete and insert so for that let's uh, copy this thing I'll paste here okay uh, I can write one comment it is better practice to write the comments to understand the coding better this we can say for insert okay uh, there is one uh, logic that I used to implement here because I tried uh, to mention that uh, if deleting if uh, updating so those things uh, 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 was not working so as of now uh, as per my knowledge uh, that didn't work maybe there are some other way we can do but uh, till now uh, I have found a way that we can mens uh, we can do it like see when we are inserting one record into table okay there are only new values okay there is no old value because the record is inserting means the record is incoming into the table okay the record is not already there uh, let me explain you through this for example in the students table we have one record with role 2 so there is no 
record with role 3 so while we are inserting into uh, the table with role number 3 or say anything uh, we are inserting one new record fresh record so there is no old value okay so uh, with that we can say like we can write like this to identify if the query is for inserting or sorry the, if the trigger is getting fired while inserting the record or deleting the record for update we have uh, we have simple uh, thing here that we can uh, identify easily that uh, this, these are the scenario which columns we are getting uh, updated but for insert what we can do if uh, we can write the condition like this if old dot uh, suppose uh, take anything like old dot role we can say because uh, if one uh, one is inserting one record into the students table uh, this they must insert the role column because uh, it is the unique key of the table okay so old dot role is null okay so what does that mean that means the there is no value in the old uh, old section means uh, old old section is uh, blank so in that case uh, it will record it will insert the data here and also we can mention that new record inserted fine I'll show you with example as well so this was for insert okay in case of insert there is no old value and for delete it is totally opposite for delete it will be new dot role is null so when we are deleting one record whatever there was present for example this is the current record we have okay so when we perform a delete operation on this uh, record uh, so old values are deleted there is nothing new thing okay when we update we get both update and delete uh, let's say when we update we perform any update we have old value means the existing value and we have new value what to what value we are updating when we insert okay there is no old value only new value okay and when we delete only old value and no new value okay so uh, this you need to understand and remember as well uh, it will be very helpful while uh, writing such audit triggers so uh, this is uh, this is how I have uh, I have uh, uh, written the program and also uh, there might be some something like uh, we can say in Oracle while uh, we have if deleting if updating uh, those kind of clause but in Postgres as of now I couldn't found those things so this is how I am maintaining that so record I can say record deleted okay I can write like existing record deleted okay so this is everything that uh, I wanted to show you for insert and delete let me recreate the function I hope the function is created okay the function is altered now our task is to delete first let me clear the logs and everything let me clear okay I have cleared the master table I have cleared the logs table as well so uh, we are fresh and now we will insert this record and what I'm expecting I'm expecting the values should be inserted into the master table and also it should have one copy in the logs table so let's do that okay the record is inserted and that can be found in the masters table easily okay here it is and also we expect the same in logs table okay uh, here are you need you, you can understand it okay if you see here this is the log ID is captured but there is no null uh, sorry there is no old values okay the new value we have one 
this is the name new this is the course new and action is new record inserted and also we have got a log date okay now let's perform some update things that we used to do I did it I did it okay we did all the updates on all the three columns now let's check the logs okay as I told that while we are updating we get two values old value also new value okay so we got these things already here and we got the action comments here now what we'll do we'll delete the record from master table and we are expecting that one log entry will come and where as I told you can also guess what will happen see while inserting there was no old value only new value while I am deleting there will be old value no new value okay so let me delete that okay record is deleted now I'll check the logs okay in the logs if you see here we have old value captured and there is no new value captured and the action it says existing record deleted okay and this is the action uh, this is the log date that is captured so till now we have already seen many things here like how to write the a trigger trigger function and for audit purpose how we can uh, we can uh, get uh, many things like here uh, we can you can also do one thing you can also create some separate stored procedure or a function for that instead of uh, right uh, in instead of making this uh, trigger function so large because uh, here I have taken only three columns role name and course there might be uh, 10 to 13 uh, 30 or some uh, more columns there you need to make uh, log so you can uh, make uh, your logic changes but the basic thing is this you can uh, do like this okay so uh, as of now uh, I have this much to uh, provide and share with you if I get m more on this I'll definitely make videos on this and for that you need to subscribe my channel to get the updates whenever I post such videos and also I am going to make more videos on triggers concept trigger functions cursors and other things I have already covered sequence and many more things I have already covered so please do watch those videos you can watch them from the playlist that uh, I have mentioned in the in this video and uh, please uh, do subscribe my channel and like the video and share okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care bye bye